and the same dude that answered his baby mom's call at 4 a.m after we broke up a year later a year later had a had another baby by that same baby mom oh and then hit me up in my dms on my birthday talking about it was always you sir where the baby moms are not safe and the baby dads are not safe they always go back and that's the thing too that i've like realized is you can sit here and say whatever you want but that's a history and that's something that you can't break that they have especially when they've given them their first kid i'm sorry the only time i feel like you can compete with that is if you're giving them the opposite gender than what they already have they got a son and a daughter you're screwed (laughs) that's that's crazy (laughs) and you know what though i respect that that. i respect that a lot because i feel like a lot of females out there they be, they be, they be home wrecking like a motherfucker, and I feel like that shit is, that shit is against, against just moral life, life code. It's not, it's not even against. It's not even about like who you are as a person, like what you choose to do. You know, cool, but there's a certain shit that you don't break in life. You know, and I feel like just take care of your fucking kids, baby mamas and baby daddies. I feel like a lot of the bad lighting is on the dads, you know, all the time, but they don't see the mom side. I just feel like. If you're going to date someone, just be prepared for like everything that comes with it. Because like not every person is going to do the same stuff, like go back to their baby moms or whatever the situation is or baby. Dad. Y'all like if they just have to have respect for you and you have to respect that. I mean, at the end of the day, like that child is a priority. Right. You can't go into it being mad that like, um, you know, like you're not the number one in their life. Because at the end of the day, like son or daughter, you're never going to be their number one. Like that child should always be a priority and anything other than that, like. If you can't deal with that, then it's not for beep, you. Beep, 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 beep. Baby, baby talk. talk. I'm telling you, take care of your thing. You better take care of your fucking kids. Yeah, at some point, right? We had to cover it. That's an important topic, though, for sure. Anybody. With anybody. Yeah. Yeah. You know? You know? You're gay, if you're gay, you, you're gay, gay people that have kids. You gotta take care of your kids, even if you're gay. It's not an excuse. Take care of your damn kids, damn. Not really. I don't even know how we ended up there. That was that was good. Yeah. Got real deep real quick. Sorry about it. Another, another shot. shot. I'm, down. I'm, down I'm down with that. Down. Cheers to the girls like girls. Yes. yes. And to, and to baby Ashley, mama baby mamas mama and baby daddies taking care of their kids. Hopefully. Ready? I'm going to ask this question real quick. So we're going to transition real quick into guys. So what is very attractive on a guy that you love? Oh, so like physically, I realized I have a type. I like me... A little light skin, brown skin, mixed boy, curly hair, like tall, muscular. It's got the little like veiny arm shits going on. That shit. Now, Damn, that shit is the detail. So if you don't match the description, don't even try. You don't have Just fucking veins popping out like the fucking Hulk. Don't even think about it. You're not trying to Hulk smash this ass. Don't even oh think. If you're not trying to Hulk smash this ass. Wow, and you don't have any next, arms. Hey, that should be your next pickup line. Try it. Try it. <laughs> Go to the club. Yeah, hey, you trying to Hulk smash this ass? And when the lights turn on the club, everyone show me your arms. <laughs> All right, what else do you like? Looking at the face at that point, you got curly hair. Let me see them arms. But yeah, no, I like, ooh, you have to have like really nice straight like teeth. They like, you have to have a good smile. I'm a sucker for a guy with a good smile. Um, Nice manicured hands mm-hmm. because... We're not trying to have Edward Scissor hands up in that bitch. <laughs> Facts. I'm, assu- I'm assuming you've had an experience? No. For that reason, I'm not trying to. That's like yeast infection written all over it. Top or bottom? She liked to ride. She likes to ride. She likes to ride. Cowboys, light skin, veins that pop. Veins popping during sex. Veins popping. Um, Bonus if they're popping down there. <laughs> Is that a thing? What, ooh, does the size matter? Uh, the size matter or the way they put it in work? The way they put it in the work, for sure. Um, <laughs> who, me? Is that there's veins down there? <laughs> that question? I have, like, little veiny penises. Peni? What's the plural for that? <laughs> oh, wait, what the wait, fuck? Wait, so, like, the veins on their up. arms looks like the veins on their pee-pee? Not, like, fully like it, but, like, they can be a little veiny. Have you ever seen a dildo? Have you ever seen a dildo? So you're telling me. Yeah. So you know how like dildos have like those little veins on them sometimes? Like that based off of real penises. Like they're not just like made up penises. Hey, I'm gonna ask you some fast questions. I like to do this. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know why. It's it's fun. That's fine. Your answers. They might be wild, but it's fine. 
Do you like it in the butt? (laughs) Never done it. (laughs) But I've had a thumb in the butt. It's great. Shit. What about right, a pinky? Okay. Why would you put a pinky? Anyways, um, you ready? You ready? Yeah. All right, we're going All right, fast. Okay. How fast? Yeah, I know. Hey. You know about fast. Okay. <laughs> one one attractive thing about a girl. About a girl? Mm, body. Favorite position in bed? Writing. One turn off. Bad breath. Are you open to threesomes? No. Do you like your toes sucked? Yes. yes. Would you want to date someone with a foot fetish or a hand fetish? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, no, or, or, or. <laughs> you gotta think about it. They're gonna pay for that shit. No. If they're really, if that's really their fetish, they will pay to have that shit looking good. You have to pick. Either or. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Traditional or not traditional? For relationships? Traditional or not traditional? Both. No, 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 no. Yeah, you gotta pay. So, more. like, I can sit here and say I want a traditional relationship, but also how I've been in the last couple years, I feel like an open relationship might be the best option for me. Facts. Do you remember every single person that you had? Sent yes, out? I do. First and last name? Yeah, yeah nice. actually, I do. All right. Unfortunately, they're the couple I wish I could there. forget. <laughs> what, <laughs> wait, wait, what number was the best one? My last one. Ooh. Yeah. He knows who he is. What was this? Wait, 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 what, what, what? Yeah, you're not going to get a name out of me. No, I was going to say, like, what was the size? Size don't matter. Like, he's, like, average. What's average? I'm gay. I don't know. Google. <laughs> we just found out that BB's got veins in them. What the fuck? That Since when? Is that a new generation thing? <laughs> Is that the millennial generation? Yeah, that's it's just, that young, and, uh, that young boy generation. This is, really this is gonna weird, be weird, but that, weird, but that just made me really think about, about bodybuilders, <laughs> dicks. Like, oh, they're probably like small as hell. Yeah, you yeah, think yeah, about yeah. all the you steroids know, and shit they probably do. Balls. I know their balls shrink when they take steroids. steroids. Oh, could you imagine a saggy ball? But, but they're not saggy at all times. I mean, like, well, you're not into it, but that should be fun. We need a bodybuilder on the show. Ashley, say it again. No, say it all the way. She eats, she eats balls, balls and ass. Whoa. Is that what she said? No. Never ass. <laughs> Give me this mic. <laughs> Let me go cleanse the mic. I'm gonna go home, guys. Yo, low key, that should have made me throw up. Just thinking about oh that my shit. God. I just as long as you don't get smacked in the forehead, you're solid. Have noodles all over the table right now. That's crazy. Like not. I mean, yeah, to each own. Not to bash on any men, like. Guys watching, like, oh, you, too. you got your parts, I got mine. But that shit is just weird. Like, like their that balls? shit is weird as fuck. Like, I, I don't even know, like, how you would even. Like, okay, okay like about, how I feel about the exactly, female anatomy exactly. for, like, messing with a girl is I feel like how you would feel about messing exactly. with a dude. Exactly. You would know what to like, do with it. I don't that know. That shit looks <laughs> weird, bro. Get that shit away from me. <laughs> hey, that, that shit weird, weird, bro. <laughs> that shit weird. So, why the fuck it look like that? Hey, that shit. Oh, oh hell no! All right, All right. that's enough. And this, and this is how we knew Jair was really fuck. fucking gay. <laughs> As fuck. That, I like that though. That was good though. That was definitely. Ooh, more sips. Cheers, guy. That was a big gulp. God, this just burns my lips so bad. Oh fuck! I felt that in the nose. In the nose. <laughs> Let me ask you something about the nightlife, club life. Okay, go ahead. What's something that people think about that life that really isn't what they think? I feel like people, I wasn't a bottle girl in like a big club or anything like that, but I've done bottle service at a couple different places. And then I've sold hookah at like bigger clubs. People, I feel like have the view in this can be done from the bottle girl's perspective as well and how they put it out on social media because social media is a big thing mm-hmm. but like you only see the money or the trips or the fancy clothes or the fancy shoes or all that shit right mm-hmm. the looking super pretty and everything but what you don't see from like the back aspect is like for bottle girls in particular you're in lingerie all night right mm-hmm. you have drunk like drunks like drunk guys drunk girls drunk whoever's 
grabbing on you thinking that they have a chance with you because that's the illusion you're giving them right like oh you have me serving your table like you can get whatever you want from me type of thing right but in reality like you have to deal with obnoxious drunk people all night people don't realize like if you've ever been people watching when you've gone out or anything like anyone can sit there and say like drunk people are annoying Mm. as hell like just annoying they're obnoxious they're too handsy they don't understand personal space like but you're dealing with that Thursday through Sunday and barely nothing on a constant basis for depending on where you work three to eight hundred dollars maybe more depending on the club but like you're you're dealing with people grabbing on you touching on you trying to get at you all night and then on top of it like the club that I worked at I'm not going to say it by name but like we would have to be there until four or five o'clock in the morning just to get our money from that night Mm. because they have to collect everybody's money sit there count it divide it do whatever and then you're waiting there for hours at this point like Some girls still sitting in their lingerie. Other girls bring sweatpants, baggy t-shirts, whatever the situation is. But you're sitting there until five o'clock in the morning. Now you're not getting home until, depending on where you live, me, 30 minute drive. So I'm not getting home until 5.30, 6 Mm a.m. Keep in mind, I work multiple jobs. So like on the days where I had to work my bank job, I'm not staying. I'm not staying for my money. I'll pick it up the next day because like I can't be here till three, four or five o'clock in the morning. People don't realize like, You can sit there and be like, oh my God, it's such a fun life or whatever. But like the stuff you deal with on the back end is like not worth it. And a lot of the people too are super catty. Mm. You book a table and then somebody else books the next table. Why are you taking my booking? It's competitive. Hella competitive. Because it's money. Or like people expect you, well, you need to flirt with your table. Like not necessarily at the big club that I worked at. Because like I said, I wasn't a bottle girl at a big club. But like did bottle service at a strip club. Did bottle service at like a restaurant that dubbed as a club and everything but like flirt with your employee like flirt with your tables flirt with your clientele like just to get money from them that like sure it seems cool yeah yeah it's quick and easy money but like you have to deal with a lot of stuff on the back end and you have to be okay to like put that shit aside so like morally if that's not for you that's not what you want to do like go get a regular serving job then make a fraction of the money doing a little more work Mm -hmm. but you don't have to put up with the same type of bullshit because drunk people are obnoxious i think hey what about when you're drunk though so does that apply to you too when you're drunk hell yeah i'm obnoxious i just i literally was just talking about going off on a nigga when i'm drunk i'm obnoxious as hell so you got a right to say what you're gonna say (laughs) no for sure you can't be hypocritical can't not on this podcast mm -hmm. well see that's for all the people that uh aspire to be doing that in life you hear it from someone who's gone through it already because it's glorified like at the end of the day like you for the longest i was like oh my god i want to be a bottle girl i want to be a bottle girl don't get me wrong it was cool it was fun if you like going out it's fun but you have to be able to deal with the drunks deal with people grabbing on you me personally i don't like anyone touching me even if you're trying to get past me in a club saying excuse me you don't need to touch me yeah ashley kicks, kicks people, people. <laughs> she she did that in the club one time she kicked someone like so how did you ta- how did you manage to tolerate all that um you just have to like one make cool with the people that you work with be especially like security yeah. those are the people that are gonna have your back like there's been even selling hookah at a club someone talks to you out of pocket you grab security security's ready to throw that like security's ready to fight and did you ever do it at a club while you were working no but i've done it at a restaurant (laughs) (laughs) damn (laughs) okay okay good enough hey so this was the girls like girls podcast this was episode six you listen to a full episode we had ashley here you know we got jr the realist the leslie martinez Thank you guys for watching. We'll have more guests on the show. Thanks for coming again. Absolutely. Thanks for inviting me. Oh. Appreciate you. Shout out. Shout out. You want to drop your eyes? She IG? was hard as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was like, my arm looked hella awkward. In that. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. Do you have IG? I do. It is um, Ashley Rich Shell. Ooh, she's stuttering. She must be drunk. Hey. <laughs> that cost a free co where can i find you um instagram ashley rochelle a-s-h-l-e-y-r-a-c-h-e-l-l-e-e-e i think it's three e's 
but yeah. you some along the line tune in tap in yeah real hit, hit the, the bell, bell comment real. like comment share and subscribe subscribe hey. share all that hey if you ain't got veiny arms don't even try if you don't have fucking curly hair you ain't light skin you don't have if green don't eyes football, no you don't have to have green eyes you just have to be athletic and like okay you could be a cheerleader who gives a fuck and if you're a girl you gotta be short with curly hair and veiny arms <laughs> and wear boots <laughs> and you still <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, hey, wait, 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 wait. Last question, last question, last okay, question. Okay. What if a girl had a strap? You're a No. Okay, it's because why would I want rubber when I could have real? Okay, ah. you cannot be with a girl. <laughs> you cannot be with a girl. All right, all right, all right. That, that all was right. good, that was good. All right, we out, we out. <laughs>